All right, all right, all right, Capricorn. What is going on? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again for the new year. Happy New Year to every last one of you guys. Happy 2021, you guys. I hope we're going to have some fun this year. Yes, we're going to turn it in and turn it out, Capricorn. So we're here to find out what's going on this lovely January. Shout out to all my. Uh, Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked, like, share, and subscribe to this video or any one of my videos in the past, present, or future. Okay? Shout out to all of you guys, all my future babies, too. I'm going ahead and speak y'all into existence in the name of Jesus. Shout out, amen, hello. All right. So, um, if there's anyone that would like to reach out to me or just show any love to the uh, page, um, thank again for all of the donations, all of the books bookings throughout 2020 you guys have been an absolute blessing to me um if for any reason you guys want to just reach out to me just speak to me personal on any reason for any occasion you can always reach out to me on instagram the link is in the description and in the bio on my page which is called the about tab um or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com if you would like to book a reading all of that information is in the bio in the description of this video and again I just want to say thanks to every one of you guys for you know all of your support if you want to send some love donations to the page you know if anything resonates here if, if, if you guys just want to send love to the page a lot of these decks have been donated by you guys and I greatly appreciate it um, especially these runes and these decks right here are all new that just came in the door you know in December so that's just a beautiful blessing that we're bringing into um, into 2021 so again I just want to thank you guys for all of the love and you know the, the support and the charity that you've given to me and my page to help my page grow so as you know we always give thanks and love to the creator to the universe to Father God you know as he bear witnesses to our blessings that he has written down for us Father God so Bow your head with me for a second. Father God, we thank you so much for ushering us into 2021. Just feeling blessed and just feeling amazing, Father God. This year is going to be a different year. No matter what's been going on around us, Father God, we're keeping our head up. We are walking with a stride and we're keeping our pride and we're keeping everything down to business, down to the basics, getting back to things as usual father god we just getting everything right on track father god and we're gonna have a lot of fun this year and we're just thankful 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 and we're just you know praising you and just you know we're just receiving all of the victory for everything that god our name wanted that we've just planted seeds for father god so we just thank you for helping us you know usher our way into where we need to be father god and just stay diligent and just focus on our path father god we are reloaded so just um Give us the guidance that we need to receive for January 2021. Father God, we're here to have some fun and just thank you for all of the blessings that lay ahead on our feet on our journey. So give us the guidance that we need to receive. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's get into it, Capricorn. So I kind of like how I had everything, you know, when we did those bonus reads, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and stick to the tea. I think I like the tea, and I think you guys like it with me. So, you know, we're just going to go ahead and break it off. We're going to break it off a little bit there, you know. We're going to see what we got. So give me three cards. Ooh, okay. Ooh, you got the money path. God damn. Okay, now that's the way we want to reload and start things. All right, hold on. It says, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Okay, we are most definitely reloaded. All right, we just going to pop it off like that, Capricorn. I like that. I like that. Father God, give me two more cards for my Capricorns. All right. What is this? A hat. You will be playing a different role, Capricorn. A money path. Okay, now. Ooh, what is... Oh. Then you got the cobwebs. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Now, come on. Capricorn. That is the way that you reload and you come in in 2021. Forget whatever happened in 2020. 2021, we are here to have fun, baby. God said you got a brand new road to wear and a path to money. And you protected from anybody that's trying to come against you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Y'all better stop. Y'all, I listen. I knew 
I knew to go ahead and come through and start with my babies because you know it's y'all birthday season for a reason. In the name of Jesus, y'all better go on ahead. Come on now. All right. Shout out to everybody that just had birthdays and stuff. Yes, God. Give me three more cards here. All right. Oh, and you got the rose. Romance is in the air. Listen, Capricorn, y'all is on it. <laughs> okay? Y'all are on it. Give me two more cards for my Capricorns. Praise God. All right. Two more for my Capricorns. Thank you. All right. What is this? The well. Family wishes come true, Capricorn. How can this get any better? I love this. One more. It says the ram. Oh, God. Okay, so here we go with the bullshiggity. We got the ram. A stubborn and aggressive person. And then you got the clouds that you're having a temporary problem with. All right. Hmm. And this is right over here with this. With this family wishes and romances in the air. But there's somebody that is trying to cause some type of issue here. Some type of issue. I don't even feel like this is a major issue. You got too much. You got too much shit coming your way, baby. Yes, come on, piece of lavender. Come on. I know that's right. Come on, piece of lavender. Listen, that lavender, be <laughs> that lavender better come in here and speak and tell you to stay in peace and be tranquil. You got a brand new role. You got money coming your way. God is blessing and protecting you. Do you understand? So any little creature trying to crawl up in your path that you ain't asked for gonna get trapped up in that web. So you better tell them that they better think before they goddamn speak. All right, think for whoever this is. I just it's something. It's like it is something. Do you see how it's like you're trying to grow? You're trying to manifest. You're trying to like recognize what it is that God is trying to teach you, or where God is trying to extend you at the time. Like He's trying to extend you, give you extended blessings or something like that. And it's someone trying to get all caught up in everything that's going on with you. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Not this year. <laughs> Not this year. You got romance in the air and like family blessings. Family wishes is coming true. So I'm getting like marriage, like a true love connection here. And then here you got some type of asshole trying to bring temporary clouds and drama and rainy days like normal this this isn't someone that i don't think that you're not used to or that you're not aware of you know who this person and it says it's a stubborn and aggressive person so i'm just going to sit this person over here because like this seems like three different situations right here you know if you let me think okay this is money romance and bullshit, okay? <laughs> Money, romance, and bullshit. So, you guys, let's just get some clarification on each one of these subjects. Give me one for the money path. Okay, you got the five of cups right here. So, this is saying that you guys are, I want to say, still kind of hurt and stressing and looking back and thinking about um, where situation kind of went wrong before. I don't know. If you were a victim of somebody stepping in the way or betraying you or doing something that you thought that they wouldn't do in regards to a job or a work situation or something. Maybe you thought that you were stable, like, you know, Rona proof or, and you know, you thought that it wouldn't hit you because you had been, you know, kind of adjusting your, I want to say that you had everything going pretty good and then someone might have pull the rug up under your feet a little bit and it's like you tripped and you scraped your leg and you did get hurt a little bit so I want to say if you guys are still mourning and thinking about some situation in the path where you felt like you fell off <laughs> that's really what I'm getting it's like stop focusing your energy on that listen God is protecting you from forces and stuff that you can't even see even sometimes for yourself. So God is telling you to honestly look up at what is ahead of you. What is ahead of you? Because it says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. But it's like you're still looking in this cup. It's either your focus, your 
focused on some type of emotional affair that beseech you. That's what they're saying. And that's not even my words because I don't even be saying no goddamn beseech you. So they're saying you're looking back at something that beseech you and it sounds like something that is harming you versus helping you when you got so much to look for ahead of you. You have so much to look for. And it's probably right in front of you if you kind of get your emotions together and stop thinking and resting your emotions on what was in the past or what was lost or what you can't find anymore or what is missing. And think about the blessings that God has ready for you that you have yet to even see. Something that you haven't even experienced. Because they're saying, God is legitimately saying, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. In a new hat, a new role, you will be playing a different role this time. So this is something that you've never done. This is something that you've never seen. Something that you've never tried. Something that you've never even thought of. It's like something that you've never in a million years could have even seen yourself doing. And it's like no one can get in the way of this path. But yourself. You gotta look up. Listen, out of all of them clouds, you see them clouds is moving away and you see the sun is always shining. Those rainy days do not last forever. Pay attention to the sunrise. Pay attention to your intuition. Let that fire like burn again. You know, it's like your rival. You need to arrive again within yourself because this is someone that is emotionally going through something. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It has to do with you adjusting your thoughts and your emotions right now so you can focus on your path and even pay attention to this role because it's something that is coming out. Because the sun to me means illumination, means to see something, to understand something, warmth, you know what I'm saying? Comfort, you know? Like, that's like the summertime you being on the beach and the sun, like, kissing your skin after you come out of the cold waters. It's like, ooh, you know? True vision. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Like, once it hits you, once it kiss your skin, it's, you know, like how sometimes when it gets, when you, you're up under the sun and your skin kind of, tightens up a little bit you're like ooh, oh that feels so good that skin hitting that like that's kind of what I'm getting I'm feeling like you're gonna it's gonna feel like a warm blanket you're gonna feel so covered <laughs> that's kind of what I'm getting like even with this money and they're saying something they're saying something about an appointment they're saying something about some appointment saying something about an appointment Keep your appointment and make it on time. And I have to stress to you, showing up on time is late. 15 minutes early is on time. Always remember that. Showing up at your appointment arrival time on time is 15 minutes late. You should always show up 15 minutes ahead of time. You understand? So, make sure that you pay attention to your appointment and arrive on time to your appointment to have your emotions together. Okay. Let's go to the rose and the whale. Give me one card for the rose and the whale. Romance in the air and family wishes coming true. Okay. Oh, you got the king of swords. All right. That's what is that? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Capricorn. What's going on? Okay. We are reloaded. Now listen. The King of Swords is someone that is most definitely a bachelor out of everyone in the tarot deck. This is like the single man. And he's single because it's by choice. Um, he's a very smart, very intuitive individual, very spiritually like intuitive as well. Like he may know a lot about science technology um or law um he could be um i want to say he could be like an engineer of some sorts that's what i'm getting it's like some type of engineer like 
it, it, it can even be like a musical engineer, um, electrical engineer, um, anything with IT, anything with like telecommunication and um, fiber optics and like uh, programming and especially law, like law enforcement, security, arms force, like it being a military or something like that. Like this is like a leader, a protector. You know what I'm saying? This man is um I want to say very, very sharp. Um his speech, like you could get like you could talk to this person for hours. Like this person is so so I, I even want to say he may have like a foreign tongue, like a foreign accent or something or he can speak many languages or something. Whoever this person is, I want to say, can speak many different dialects as well. Um, may even have a foreign look to him or something like that. Interesting. But this person is very noble, has a lot of pride, um, always speaks truth. Um, if it's not something that he think that he can do, he's not going to tell you that he can do it. He's just very honest and just matter of fact. Um, and I want to say he has a very sweet personality. This person does not have kids. Um, but I, I want to say loves kids. He loves the idea of kids. But is not willing to procreate with someone unless there's going to be like marriage. <laughs> like seriously. So like that's why this person doesn't have any kids. But I, like this person wants one though. Most definitely wants one. Let's find out what's going on over here with this ram in the cloud situation, please. Clarify. Okay. You got the two of wands here. So this is someone that you seem to... It's like this person challenges you um, whenever you... Um, like threaten to go somewhere. It's like you want to move on. You want to change destinations even and it's like you can't like you can have kids or something this is someone that you've had a past with clearly um it's this the one that you keep looking back to that you're letting it's like you won't kind of leave behind type of situation like that but you have a new situation that's going to be building here and also new fine new financial opportunities i want to say if you actually pick your head up and look up <laughs> what's going on around you you will pay attention to this and like the type of rule because this four cups right here is representing a missed opportunity to me you feel like this person is it's like never chooses you like you are like this person may always seem like they have other options than you like they're bored with their life with you, they're bored with this situation. This person kind of just left you and, and moved on, and you sitting back, looking if there's still any, if there's still anything there. You know what I'm saying? Or just looking back at old memories, or just not allowing it to just let it go again. They're saying it beseech you, <laughs> and you need to keep moving. Like that's literally what God is saying. It beseech you, and you need to keep moving because you're having missed opportunities and it's right in front of you that there's there's an offer that is like waiting for you to look up and pay attention to it you know what i'm saying but you're not even looking at it or even looking forward to to it you're not looking forward to it because you're looking at something else that's what god is telling me and it's like you have a different role you have a different path and not only that it's like something about you needing to have a focus on your money as well this could like be unintentionally uh getting in the way of your focus with your money because it's like again with this four cups it's like opportunities are passing you by because you're not paying attention to it or it's like god is saying it's like you don't want that more than something else. It's like you're more paying more attention to that than this than what God is trying to offer you. And it's like this path of money is waiting for you to find it. So it's like we need your focus right here on this money because, you know, and God is protecting you from this situation because for real, you don't even really want it. 
you really don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, look at this person. A stubborn and aggressive person. This person brings a lot of, like, anger and frustration out of you. Like, this person, it's like you think you want it, but you don't really want it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you did want it, you wouldn't be at a crossroads thinking about going somewhere else and it's like you're like really thinking about leaving and moving on like forever for good this time like you know no more back and forth you know no more back and forth it's something about you needing to reach that destination within yourself that you don't want this existence in your life anymore like again this sun is trying to come out and present itself to you but until you really look up and pay attention to the offers so you don't miss it anymore. I don't know if these rain cloud, if these this cloud is coming in or moving out. To me, it's moving out. But it could surely be coming in, covering up the sun. It depends on your energy and what you what you're trying to have it do here. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say that this is very much so your choice. Because you can miss this shit too. You know, it depends on how you about to operate. Let's use the runes right here. And again, thank you to all my babies who have donated. Dex, um, PayPal, Cash App, Amazon wish list stuff. Like, all of this came from the wish list. So, thank you so much. And I believe I got these tea, cause these tea leaf cards. I wanted them for a long time. And you guys were sending Cash App donations. Like... I don't care if it's a dollar, two dollar, or whatever. Like, I let it build up until I could get those cards. So, I, again, I appreciate every last one of you guys. So, let's see here. Ooh. Let's see here. Okay, we just go ahead. Okay, so. This is me. Give me one wrong. Clarify the hat. Money path. Red. Five of cups. symbolizes like someone going through like some type of poverty or hardship um like discomfort and just going through something where it's like you're feeling like you're the battle of the fittest like you're in survival mode right now you know like yearning for change feeling like things are deficient in some way like lacking in some way like that's why it's like you're looking back at something. It's either like the way things used to be, like an old romantic situation, financial situation, like some type of like pain, suffering, like a need for like endurance to just understand like I'm going to be able to survive at this. I just need to look up. And I, th I think that's the thing that you really just need to do is just have the determination to just survive like it's some it literally is survival of the fittest and you're even though you may be discomfort going through some level of discomfort right now that's because there's some change going on in your life right now god doesn't want you to see the way that that path was anymore he wants you to look up and see something else he has a new role he's protecting you from that because he doesn't want you to have that anymore right now like what this is saying right here this is means like a job well done it means harmony it means comfort it means prosperity it means determination it means pleasure joy everything so it means like things are going to be picking itself up like after all of this poverty and hard hardship and stuff you are going to see like rewards and effort of everything that you've been trying to do you know pressure creates diamonds and I try to tell people that all the time and the reason why something may not be coming back to you and may not be around no more is because listen protection from negative forces beyond your control 
you don't really want that in your life as much as you think that you did like no matter of, of, of what the situation was like that situation was for life lessons and for growth not for you to hold on to it not for you to continuously keep looking back when you're not paying attention to where you're going you have to focus on what God wants you to do right now and right now you got a path to money and right next to it you got a path to love okay so this one, this is a major arcana. This, oh, shit. This means immortality, reliability, strength, dependability, trustworthiness, growth, acceptance that change is the natural way of life. Means going through challenging trials but being steadfast. You know, adoption. Being resilient. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you have to be a fucking leader. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when you're going through the hardest times in your life, especially emotionally, you got to understand that there'll be better days and look the fuck up. <laughs> and I swear, as soon as you look up, the opportunity was right there just waiting for you to pay attention to it. It's right there. You just got to get your emotions together and decide that that's what you want to focus your energy on. Like, leave that past alone. Let that shit be what it's going to be. Fuck that shit. Be immortal. You know what I'm saying? Like, be unbreakable. You know what I'm saying? Have that strength and that fortitude and just know, like, I'm going to carry on. Because there's a path of money right there waiting for me to find it. And I must be going through this change for some reason. Like... I wouldn't be going through this struggle for some reason. If I'm all the way at the bottom, if I'm going through poverty right now, then that means the only thing that I could do is look to going up. The only thing I could do is look up. I ain't about to sink further. I'm going to tell you that. I'm about to look up. That's what this means. This is like a, this is a major arcana. And then you got the king of swords right there. What is the king of swords? He is about power. He's about truth. He's legendary in regards to like armed forces and protection. Do you understand? Always a truthful person. You can always like look to him to abide and follow the law and follow the rules. And if this man is in a marriage, trust and believe he's definitely going to be worth your while. And, 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 and this is the one that you should like. Because this is the one that you should really take your time and open up to. Because I feel like this one is going to take some time and open up to you. I don't feel like this person moves fast. This person really wants to take time and talk to you. Listen. Family wishes coming true. Romance is in the air. This person wants to really take the time and talk to you and study you and learn you. Understand where you come from. Understand what you need. Understand where your life is going so he can see if that's where he can see his life going to. Or this may be you. You know what I'm saying? If you um, are the Capricorn male just depicting this type of energy right now. Being a leader. Being a protector. Being an honest, trustworthy man. Having your heart open you know, family wishes come true. Like, you could be wanting a wife right now. This could be very much so like a Capricorn man in the energy of just feeling like, and may I, I may have suffered from my heart being broken, but God got a different role and a different path for me. It's time for me to stop focusing on that, focus on my money. Maybe God protecting me for that relationship or protecting me from that opportunity for a reason, like, my heart is open. But romance is in the air. Romance is in the air. Let's pay attention to what we got going on on this side right here. This is... Oh, gosh. Okay, so... This, this, is, this is the... Like, sign of, like, um... Thor, almost. You know, like, this is like Thor. Um... I believe it's like this one and it's like this other room that I see and I look at it like an axe and it's like 
You know, you know like how you see Thor and um, Thor has the hammer, right? Thor has the hammer, and who is his um, father? Is Od Odin or something like that? And it's like Odin has that axe. It's like you know, Odin is the is the god of war, I believe, right? And then Thor was his son. So when you see this, this legitimately means like you're definitely going through some type of trials or something it's like some lesson to be learned you're having to like show discipline like something being hammered you know what I'm saying like hammered into you a little bit like it's like a hard lesson right now you know what I'm saying you have to make a sacrifice and you have to make a tendency towards change it's like something that is like literally by force having to um you know I feel like yeah it's like by force okay so it means like having to protect yourself in a way where you may have to use your anger like it's like your anger may push you to finally stand up for yourself and defeat the enemy because this this rune really does it means like I'm, I'm literally like seeing Thor like coming down on someone with the hammer boom like crushing the enemy like you know what I'm saying like someone having to learn a hard lesson it's like defeating you know because like on the flip side of this like this can mean like the bad man or bad woman Someone like having hatred, um, doing bad things to you, like you being defensive, like someone lying on you, like abuse. This can mean danger. Um, someone not being able to control their compulsion or a child like attitude. Someone being irritable towards you, like you know what I'm saying. Like this is like bad energy. Do you understand? And so like in the way that this is coming off to me. It's like you having to protect yourself because what this means is like this this M right here and I am I don't know why I'm taking this as money as well but it doesn't mean money but this M represents like direction represents movement and represents change it represents like everything working together as a cohesive unit it you know what I'm saying like Things are moving in the right direction, but you might have to take it by force. You understand? Like, especially with this ram here, this stubborn and aggressive person with this cloud here. There is definitely something that is getting in the way. And this is this isn't good energy. This is like that negative energy that the runes is talking about. And it's like you have to stand up for yourself and take your hammer and be Thor. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you legitimately, it's mean to take caution because you have to defend yourself in this travel. Like, there's something that's going to come at you. There's something that's going to try to get in the way. There's something that is going to try to resist the way that you're going. Do you understand? Um, you may have to protect yourself with violence. You may have. It's like a, it's like defending yourself against adversaries. Like trying to resist an unwanted conflict. So it's like sacrifice. You understand what I'm saying? Like this also means like destruction. Like destroying something. You may have to sacrifice something. You may have to destroy something. It means... Again, lesson learned. <laughs> and like reward coming through challenges. You know what I'm saying? Like once you make that sacrifice, and then this this Thor means the god of thunder. Do you understand? Purifying, purification. Do you understand? Protection by defending yourself. <laughs> That's what that means. And again, this M it represents movement. 
joint efforts. You understand? So if this person isn't going to work with you and you want to go with this Two of Wands, you want change, new direction, because the Two of Wands goes into the Three of Wands. Three of Wands represents someone changing location, someone traveling, someone moving, someone waiting for their ships to come in. You understand? Because I'm ready to go. You know, like I'm literally seeing a plane, like someone leaving, taking flight. You know? Hmm. Interesting. Now let's go into the Anchor Island Po. Mm-hmm. All right. So again, like I'm being forced to tell you, be immortal. Be unbreakable. Do you understand? Take your fucking... Listen, you have to come like the, the ancient Greek god Thor. You have to use your hammer and smash your component. You have to use your force. You have to use your power. You have to show people that they cannot fuck with you. And if you want to do better for yourself, they need to leave you alone. You cannot aggressively... Like dictate and it's it's like it's not it's not a dictatorship. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not going to be the force in my life that is going to be a constant problem, or I will remove you. Do you understand? It's standing up for yourself, standing up for your freaking self, strength, and it's showing growth. Clarify this for. Oh, god damn. Shit. Uh uh. Good gracious, alive. I can't even take that. That was too much. Like, oh my gracious. It's just like everything just want to spill all out at one time in the name of Jesus. Come on. Alright. What you got to say about God? Tell me what you got to say for Capricorn. Stand up for what you feel inside. You got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So it's like legitimately whoever this person is doesn't love you anymore. This is a situation where it, it does bring you poverty and strife because it puts you in a place of lack where it's like you think low of yourself emotionally. And it's like, I want to say it's like something, it's like... This is like something or someone that beats you down or make you feel like you don't belong there anymore. Good, because you don't. Stop giving your emotion to it. Allow change. Do you understand? Like, stop looking towards something that beseech you. Again, that's what God continuously wants me to tell you. And if I literally have to tell you that this person doesn't love you, this person doesn't love you. That's why God is like telling you, get your pickaxe, get your goddamn hammer, dig yourself out of it, and beat the fucking death out of the goddamn... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But like in your mind, in your spirit, if that's what you have to do, get your pickaxe, chisel your way, dig your way out of this situation. Do you understand? And whatever you have from it, Put it in a box, bury it, put some nails around the coffin, take your hammer like Thor. <laughs> you know? Okay. You got the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, goodness. And then you got the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So, and again, this is this is very much so having to do with. And I like how the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here. But you see how these is by two different decks? Two different decks here. You have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. From two different decks. This is someone that is like your true counterpart. It's like someone that understands. Because I want to say like... There's extreme, like, darkness going on, like, right now. Like, there's been a lot of clouds that's been going on because you're having to defeat the enemy so that you can, so that you can, like, get to your purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's like being a speaker of truth. 
being a person of honor with the queen of sports. It's like you're an honorable person. You're a smart person. You have a lot of lessons from where you come from where it's like you wish to seek justice in the situation. It's like you know the truth. You know what's right. You know where um, honor and respect should be lied. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you want someone that's just like your own. Like legitimate, it's like you want someone that's just like your own now. It's like you want something that's unbreakable, something that abides by the law, something that has strength, reliable, trustworthiness, like I said. And again, this means being accepted to change and understand that change is the natural way of life. You understand? So this is, it's like you to understand universal law. Look. It's like you understand universe, you un you understand it. Like you guys may even understand. I want to say like even when you guys like grow up together, like in your relationship together, because there's romance in the air. It's like two different people. I want to say you could come from two different backgrounds or something like that. Didn't I say something about someone's? Spoke like a, a foreign language or some shit. I want to say someone comes from a different background than you. But this person comes from a background of peace. You don't. I want to say you come from a background of a lot of stress and chaos. Is something about the female in this situation comes from a hard background. But that's why, like, she has a lot of information. She has a lot of wisdom. It's like she, you can't lie to her. You can't deceive her or, you know what I'm saying, do any of that shit. Like, it's like she knows the truth and it's like she wants to live her life in an honorable and truthful and justified way now. Um, it looks like in the past she was dealing with a king of pentacles in the reverse and the ten of cups in the reverse. So, I want to say like people that come from like um, broken foundations. Like, she could come from people that, um, it's. I want to say like this woman, she could have a like come from a situation where the father left the home. She could have grown up with just like her and her mother or something. Like there were never like no strong men in her life. Like the men ran. Like the father wasn't in her life. Like uh, the brother ain't shit. Uh, damn, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. But like I said, it's like the stepfather could have raped her. Um, I want to say that this person went through a hard time. Like, even the kids' fathers ain't shit. Do you understand? Like, this woman is a hard worker. Do you see? Do you see? Look. Look at look at the car. This Ten of Cups. You see how this woman is a hard worker? She's out there tending to the yard and shit. Look at this person. He's running off looking like he's too busy and preoccupied with chasing his passions and, you know, doing whatever the fuck he want to do. Like, it seems to me like this person is, like, sneaking off. Where you should be in the yard helping the woman, you know, grow some food to feed your children, to take care of your lifestyle and stuff. Like, this is, like, someone that is narcissistic and running off only worried about passions of their own and not paying attention that of what's more important is what's going on in the inside of your home not you running off being a star of an artist or something so I don't know if this is somebody that could have wanted to be a musician or a rapper or um, some type of athlete or some type of it's like it's something that isn't like a traditional style or way of living. And it's like this person is off doing something else. Why this woman is like collecting and feeding and taking care of the children and doing. I, I, I am kind of getting that all by ourselves. Especially. No this is the knight of pentacles in the reverse. Oh Jesus. This is the knight of pentacles in the reverse. So the knight of pentacles is someone that is it's like it's unsuccessful. Doesn't have any planning. Um, Ill patient. Doesn't have time for wait for anything like they rather do like a get rich quick scheme that can get them in like a lot of legal trouble or something this person can be trying to run and evade the law right now for some type of like um jester scams it's like why are they saying jester scams like a jester is like a it's like a joke or something it's like 
why am I feeling like it's like oh no I was just playing or why do I feel like someone's going to be like no I was just playing or it wasn't something serious or we I didn't understand what I was doing like this person understood exactly what the fuck they were doing it's like um they're saying this person could be like a textbook criminal A stubborn and aggressive person. I need ten of cups in a reverse. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is something that um, shows lack, shows unsuccess, shows unworthiness. Someone that isn't willing to work for herself, let alone work for someone else. Do you understand? So this could be a very lazy person, and. Do's, does what you allow them to do. If you're going to sit out there and do all of the work while they skip off and run around town and do their artist shit where they're ba barely making any money and damn sure ain't giving none to you. It's like no planning. Even if they wanted to do this artist shit, it's like you're not even really focusing your attention to really do it in the correct way so that you can make some lucrative advances from it. So it's like I'm really getting that this woman has a hard way to deal with this person because this man isn't planning on giving this woman nothing, never was, and never will. Um, this is not a lucrative situation in love or in finances. Like, this woman may be doing everything on her own. Um, I want to say she feels like justice is on her side now because um, in this situation with the runes now, it does have a lot to do with um, the focus of, I want to say, like, social services or something in the situation. Again, where it's like this person may be trying to evade the law or something. It's like he don't want people to catch up to his money trail. It's like he's trying to hide money. We make money some type of way. Or, I don't know, stash your money, hide money or something like that. Something like that. And it's like this person doesn't want to let someone go because there's a chance that they may have to give this person money as well. Scared like this girl may go to the law or like if she finally starts doing the right thing, she may expect me to too. And I can't just slip away <laughs> and not... It's like come up short. It's like, cause again, a Knight of Pentacles is someone constantly promising, oh, I'm going to get you next time. I'm going to get you next time. And don't ever come. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, again, do you see it's like a cat and a dog chase? You see the cat and the dog? I'm getting like a street person. Like this person is in the streets or this person in the street. Or get their money in the streets. Interesting. Interesting. Again, they're saying like evading law. Like this person keeps evading the law. I said, don't mess up my nails now. Alright. So let's clarify this and wrap this one up. So give me some last guidance here on this money situation. With this finance situation. And... I want to say going into this Knight of Swords individual because, um, again, they keep saying about someone keeps evading the law. The King of Swords can represent the law, too. And then it says family wishes coming true again. So it's, again, like, it's <laughs> like if someone keeps evading the law, it's like they're going to get you this time because with this one, it's like, no, it, no, this is like immortality. It's like you, they're going to fix you this time. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be growth. There's going to be truth. There's going to be a predictable standard in the system now. It's like you're in the fucking system now. Do you understand whoever this is? So if this is someone that kept sneaking and evading the, the law and evading like finances and, and family responsibilities because the Ten of Cups is like family responsibilities like never showing up giving the money, never showing up at a time or financial. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this woman could come from a long I want to say this woman comes from a very, very 
her path is something vicious. Do you understand? But it's because I want to say like eventually that she uses her energy right. She's going to be able. It's like a protection system or something against others. She's not going to allow anybody to do that to her again. It's like she'll she'll rather stand alone and be by herself and stand to her truth and be a law abiding citizen before she will allow another scuzz bucket. Someone that comes from the slums. Um some little piece of shit to come and get in her way. Do you understand? Because, again, this represents movement, represents change, represents transformation for real. Hmm. Give me guidance. Yeah, you can't keep debating the law. Oh, shit. Yeah, the Six of Clubs. So the Six of Clubs is like, definitely, this is like movement of, um, it's like going from one job to another, from one place to another. It's like I finally uh, put my resignation in for this job and I'm moving across the country to take another position somewhere else where it's like my financial situation is way better than what I was living in in, in, in the past. It's like I understand why I didn't. It's like I understand why I was uncomfortable a little bit because it's like my role needed to change. It's like things are finally looking up. I understand why things had to happen this way this time. Do you understand? Um, this is a change in like business. This is changing the way that you operate, the way that you talk to people, the way that you um, even like your standard of work, your work capability may have like progressed at this time. It's like you have more focus, more determination, more, I want to say, um, I want to say like some type of ability, like your ability has changed. You have very, very, um, a keen attention to detail. It's like you have a classic um, it says, I became insane with long intervals of horrible sanity. <laughs> so it's like, you're finally sane. Now it's like, you're finally, and you went insane with long intervals of sanity. <laughs> so it's like, you know, where, where I want to say you could have lived a crazy lifestyle before. You know what I'm saying? It could have been very crazy or reckless or whatever. It's like your behavior changed in such a way where... There's so much of this structure and sanity going on now that it almost seems crazy that you're doing it. <laughs> like, am I making any sense to like, oh my God, it's like I'm really, and it's like, I'm so focused this time and this money is like really flowing in. It's like, you know, I, this role, I have this new role. I have a lot of stuff coming to me. It's like, God, I understand why God protected protecting me from that thing that I was so focused on in the past is because I needed to change it's because God changed me for the better you know what I'm saying it's like I'm finally saying it's crazy now but I f I'm finally on the right path and in the right position where I'm making the right movements so it's like I kind of wish I would have did this a long time ago. And it's almost recognizing that I'm going to be truthful that I didn't love myself because of the existence of my past and how long I, I, I provided myself to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I provided the energy. You know? I, I gave to it. I fed it. You know what I'm saying? And I won't do that anymore. It's like pouring out all of that energy. Like, pouring out that cup. It's like... I don't even need that shit anymore. I don't need that shit no more. So it's like pouring all of that shit out and and going a different way. Do you understand? Job well done. Recognition. Determination. Comfort now. Harmony. Elation. Prosperity. And then it mean it, it it means fellowship too. And then what's right here? This situation. So give me guidance. Okay. Oh. Oh, you got the Two of Diamonds. The Two of Diamonds represents like um, an invitation, um, exchanging of ideas. Um, it's a, a back and forth banter. So you got, wow, it's like, oh, it says like you guys may be talking a lot about the current political situation, especially because 
They're saying someone here has a law background. Someone here has a law background. Because this is diamonds. The diamonds represents like law, represents spirituality, it represents like psychic ability, work related things, material related things. It means like talking about power, economic structure, you know, like things like that. Like again, things that are going on in the world and everything. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So, this is in between you guys. It says, evil is the consequence of good. So, in fact, out of joy, sorrow is born. Oh, wow. So, it's, again, it's like you guys are discussing each other's background. And it's like, I come from such a good place, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't understand sometimes. Like, I really do feel like this person, it's like he comes from such a good place. And it's like he doesn't understand how people could... He doesn't understand how this woman could have gone through so much. That's why he feels like his role is to protect people. You know? It's to protect people. Strength. Dependable. Reliable. You know what I'm saying? Justice. A force of change. You know what I'm saying? Someone that's not scared to face challenging trials. Again, like armor, armed force that goes into battle, that fights for victory, that fights for what's right. You understand? A protector, a leader, you know? This guy, I swear, like, sometimes I read Edgar Allan Poe's stuff because I understand his background, so... It's like he suffered a lot of pain because he went through a lot of loss. He suffered a lot of loss. A lot of loss. And he felt down on himself for his lack and his inability to provide. But at the same time, he was he didn't want to get a regular job. He was out there chasing a dream. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to be a writer. He wanted to, you know, and he he did become famous for that, but it didn't pay good. It didn't pay off. And he, he suffered a lot, you know what I'm saying, for his choices. Not, like, planning things out. You know, like, he suffered. It was, like, a lot of financial, financial suffering. Do you understand? So, where it says evil is the consequences of good, it's like, even out of you trying to do a good thing, so much bad and suffering, and it could bring you into such a dark and evil place, sometimes trying to do something good for some people, and it don't, like, have you ever done that? Have you ever been in a situation like that? Like, that's basically what it's saying, like, this person, this woman here, um, I want to say went through a lot of, again, she was dealing with... A stubborn and aggressive person like this person won't let her go don't want to do right in a situation but don't want to let her go don't want to let someone move on but she's having to fight by force do you understand what I'm saying and I don't know if there was any physical violence going on over here I'm seeing like a, emotional abuse and, and things of that nature I'm definitely seeing that I don't know if there was physical abuse there but it could have been could have been but I want to say this person isn't naturally um, a I'm a stick it to you type of person. Like she had to be forced to get that Thor in energy, that God of thunder. Like she had to bring that out of her because she's not a, you know what I'm saying? She put so much good in the situation, but you. Sometimes the good person gets dealt so much shit sometimes. It forced them to bring, you know what I'm saying? Because this is like the rapture. This is you just defending yourself because 
someone pushed you to be violent to show them that you can't continue to do this to me this time get out of my fucking way do you understand it's like you had to get physical this time it's like defending yourself through anger through force through tears through cursing through get the you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm literally like it's like i'm seeing someone like I'm seeing someone beating someone like this, like beating on someone through cursing through tears, like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, I'm literally seeing this. It's like someone snapping. Snapping. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't know. And I was like, I, I, I really wish that someone wouldn't have to go through this, but it's like, leave me the fuck alone. You know? I will have justice this time. You will not get in my way. I will get my family wishes. I will get the love that I deserve. I will get the relationship and the financial existence in my life and security that I fucking deserve. I just have to change the way that I'm doing things which you will fucking mean it. And finally become insane with long intervals of sanity. <laughs> like I'm finally, you know what I'm saying? Is this making sense? One last card. Oh, not, not, not four and three. One, one card, please. One card. One last card. Thank you. The three of diamonds. So the three of diamonds represents like a short term victory. Um, this is like a short payoff. Like, um, so if you end up taking this person to court, uh, trying to get justice out of the situation, like, you will get a reward, but it may, it, it's, it's probably not like, um, like, say if you had to go for alimony and child support or something like that, like, you may just get the child support, not the alimony or whatever, and you might be like, I don't give a fuck, I'm good with that, like, as long as I'm getting rid of the situation, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying, so, it's like a part-time success or something um or halfway victory or something or it's like a stepping stone that's kind of what I'm getting um but I'm getting a fickle energy it's like you may get rewarded uh a substantial amount of security where it's supposed to come to you like every month or every few months or whatever the situation is however the situation is supposed to be going but it could be like the dependency on it could be kind of fickle because sometimes you could get the money sometimes you you may not dependent on what the fuck is going on with this situation you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said it's like a part-time success or part-time victory. Because this motherfucker may like intentionally not, may not work a job just so that they don't have to give you money. Just so they can escape the financial responsibility of the family. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the court order, law order, like restitution, whatever the fuck the shit is. Do you understand? Like he may only pay half of it or you may only get half of it or you may only get a part of it. But I really do feel like you're satisfied with that because by law they're gonna catch up to him anyway or you know what I'm saying? You are gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get it in spurts. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like a part time victory. It's like you're not gonna get it all in one lump sum of money, but you are gonna the verdict is going to come out in, in you. It, it's it's going to come out on your side. Do you understand? Like you're not going to. It's not going to be no negative drawback to this victory. Only if you look at it that way, because you know. I, I swear, it's like you know this person is going. It's like you know who you're dealing with. You know this person. You know this person is going to be an asshole, and it's like this person is going to try to find a way to get you one way or another. But you can't keep beating the system. You're going, he, this person's going to fuck their self up one way or the other. Because you trying to spite me is only going to spite yourself because I don't have to chase after you no more. The law going to get you this time. And I can sit back and I can chill. Do you understand? Like literally relieved of stress. Like taking my power back by force and being unbreakable. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is growth. This is showing maturity. And it's like... Uh, it's like it's a part-time success and it's a part-time victory and the money may come in and out but it's stable because it's law ordered 
And that motherfucker gonna pay now, pay later, or when, whenever that motherfucker file his taxes, I'm gonna get me a lump sum, bitch. So, do you understand what I'm saying? It's something like that, you know? It's, it's like a partial victory. But it's still victory nonetheless. You still end up meeting and connecting with someone that understands your story and someone that it was destined for you to meet. It's like this is destiny. This wasn't destiny, but this is destiny. This is destiny because it's like you found the job that finally suits you. You know what I'm saying? Like all that other shit in the past. It really helped you. It's like, I want to say, it's, 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 it's a blessing that you kind of moved on from that job or the job, you lost the job or whatever way that you did because you're doing something else that you never even thought that you could have did. And like all of that stuff that you learned from there, you're able to take these qualities over here. And it's like everything is like working out in such a beneficial way. And it's like... You're finally seeing victory out of coming out of this poverty situation. And it's like you're finally pouring this cup out from the past. And you understand why your life is going the way that you... It's like you've, you've, you've reassessed your power and you've taken your power. And you're moving in the right direction. And you're finally seeing the success. You're finally seeing the victory and the proper communication. And a lot of like legal victories here as well do you understand so like my hat goes off to you capricorn i hope you guys enjoyed this reading um big love to you and again like triumph over all like this is that thor energy this is that god of thunder energy y'all come through and y'all reign through this bitch like the god of fucking thunder you guys make bitches wonder the god of thunder make these bitches wonder you don't took your power back baby shout out to you salute i'm out